The Teacher Dashboard in SuccessMaker is the hub for accessing student performance data, adjusting settings for students' assignments, and accessing links to digital course content and resources that can be used in teacher-led, small group, and whole group instruction. In the dashboard, you'll notice tabs across the top where you can access different data pieces and resources. You'll also notice down the left side, we've got some filtering here where you can filter down to run a report on a single student, or you can also filter assignments. For this tour, we're going to be looking at math. So I'm going to deselect all assignments and single click on the checkbox for math to filter my data just to the math. And to begin our tour, we're going to start down here in the lower left on the Run a Report button. The way to run a report is just simply select Run a Report and choose the report that you'd like. You can do any special sorting or grouping here, but in most cases you'll just click Run. Reports pop up in a new window, so if your report does not pop up right away, you might take a look at your pop-up blockers to be sure that they're turned off. SuccessMaker is a continuously adaptive program. When students work in the standard course, it begins with an initial placement to determine the student's functional start level. This cumulative report provides data on each student's performance. This is a bird's eye view of the class. It lets me as the teacher know who I need to go look at a little more closely. On this report, I have information on their level data. I have usage information, instructional performance information, and mastery data. This is, again, that bird's eye view. How many skills have they been assessed on? How many skills have they mastered? And what's their percent of mastery? This little last column is acceptable performance. So if they have mastered 90% or more of their skills, that's considered acceptable performance and they have a dot. So it's real easy to take a look and see who needs help with mastery, who needs help with gain, lets me know how I need to dig a little deeper. One way to look a little deeper is to look at this areas of difficulty report. This report's going to show me the areas of greatest need for my students. You'll see a strand, a level, a skill description, and under the skill description, you'll see the names of the students who are struggling with that skill. It makes creating small groups easy. If you'll notice on the right, this targeted lesson column, there are about 150 targeted lessons built into the areas of difficulty report. These are printable lessons. They've got teacher documents, student documents, all in one place to make small group lessons easy. Sometimes you may want to look at an individual student instead of looking at a class view. This student performance report provides detailed information on each individual student. You'll find cumulative information for that student along with their performance in computation strands and application strands. You'll also have areas of difficulty. Under this yellow line we'll see students who have had at least one round of remediation it hasn't been successful yet, but SuccessMaker's still at work trying to fill in that gap for the student. The skills listed under red for this student are the skills where he's had up to four rounds of remediation but has not been successful. So it's a great individual report. Again, all the reports are listed here in the lower left. Prescriptive scheduling is an important report. In this report, you'll put in a target date, and a target level. We help you with those target levels in terms of state assessments, but once you put in your date and your level, you run this report, and the prescriptive scheduling report takes a look at the student's past performance data. It gives each student a current rate, low, medium, or high, and then it forecasts out where that student will be by the time of the assessment. In my case here, I've got some students who are already on track to reach their target level, but I also have some who are really close, but according to our prescriptive scheduling, we don't think they'll be there by the target date without additional minutes per day to target. So this is a great way to say, okay, these are my bubble students. They're really close. Maybe I might want to invite them to morning tutoring or just be sure that student gets a little bit extra practice when he finishes his work early. Now let's take a look at the areas in the tabs across the top. The goals area has to do with usage. Green means they're on track. Yellow and red, of course, mean they're falling behind. If I click right on the bar itself, it will tell me how many average minutes that that student has had per week and how many additional minutes per week he needs to reach his usage target level. If we select mastery, 
Here you get a view of student mastery, and this first view is based on skills. So here I can again see that color coding. This reflects that continuously adaptive motion in SuccessMaker. I don't have to give an additional benchmark. It's really assessing my students formatively as they work through the program. So at any time, I can come here and see how they're doing. I've got some students who are struggling here on constructing a vertical bar graph. If I click that bar, Again, the bars are always active. I can see the students who've been assessed on this. Now, this is a lower level skill for my students because these are fourth graders, but some of them are struggling with this second grade skill. I see the names of the students who are struggling. When I click the back button, I even have access here to links to content. By selecting these links, I have problems that I can work with the student. This is that digital content we talked about. This can be bookmarked and used in a small group or whole group lesson, or it can just simply be used one-on-one -on -one with the student to say, let's see what you're having trouble with here. Let me help you. Another view of this area, I can change this view. We're on a demo site here, so we have a lot of options. When your site is created, you will just have your state standards in any Pearson Core programs. So I'm selecting your Florida standards, and now I can see this view in terms of my Florida standards. Run Mastery Report. This pulls up an individual student mastery report by standard. As you can see here, I've got the standards listed on the left. Again, this shows SuccessMaker's continuously adaptive motion because that student may be working on some lower level standards as well as higher level standards in his areas of strength. You've got the color coded bars letting you know where that student is currently. You've got the number of skills within that standard that have been judged and you've also got the number of attempts. This is an amazing individual report. It's great for parent conferences. It's great for conferencing with students one-on-one -on -one as well click forward on this blue link, you'll see each student's mastery report. You'll also want to check out these additional areas, but I wanted to mention to you also that within SuccessMaker Math, you're able to go into the school course repository and select the math course and select create new course based on this course's standard. In this way, I can select, if I'm using, let's say, Envision Math, I can select Envision Math, and I can go into the specific grade level that I'm working with, and I can even turn on content by topic that we're studying in math. So imagine that if I come in here and say, okay, this is the topic we're working on, I want to turn on, I can even preview some content here, but let's say I want to turn on these pieces of content I can name this course. I would probably want to call it my grade level Envision topic and, and name the topic here. Turn on the pieces I want and once I save it I assign this course to my students. So this is a smaller course designed to support what they're doing in my class. So this could be what we're working on in Envision or I could, I could do the same thing I could do the same thing with my Florida standards and select standards that we're working on in class and turn those pieces on, save the course, and assign it to my students. So imagine the power of students being able to log in and see a course at their level, their functional level, and then also a course that's created on their, on their grade level content for additional support. SuccessMaker has so many options for implementing and so many resources for teachers. This mass resources area has additional printable resources. These are print resources, videos, things like that to help support student learning. As you can see, SuccessMaker has so much to offer. One last thing, as you use your student demo accounts, you'll notice that there's a math course assigned and also an Envision topic course assigned. These two courses, this would the math course would be the standard math course that meets the student where they are. The Envision course here is targeted. This could be an Envision course, it could be a state standard targeted course, but notice that students have access to both of these. This is the course that's the constant. This is the one that the teacher assigns exactly when she wants to assign it. So she could wait till the end of the day on Tuesday for students to work on that course on Wednesday. To activate Spanish translations, you would click the translate button You'll see the red 
box around the screen that lets the teacher know as she's walking by that that student's using translations. And if they want to hear a sentence translated, they just click anywhere on that sentence to hear the translation. ¿Cómo te gustaría resolver el problema? So this allows students, if they are able to read in English, they don't need to click the Spanish translations, that's awesome. But if they need the translation, it's there available to help support their English learning. You'll also want to check out the menu here. There's some tools and resources, things like uh, protractors and rulers that students can use. You'll also have things like reference documents, glossary right within the student program. Once you've completed your session or you're ready to uh, end the session, you can go to the menu and click close. Once you select that you are ready to end your session, it will take you back to the main screen so that you can access the other course or log out. Thanks so much for your interest in SuccessMaker. We hope that you find this video overview of the teacher dashboard helpful.